We had a lot out there. So let's reset the ATS first. Let's see how much we had out there. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, 585 out on the table. All right, puck comes off. Let's do a rack check. There's our bankroll right there. So we're going to put our bankroll in the back rack. There's 1500. We are two, 244 in profit. So we're going to do is get greens for the red, for the blacks. And this is now our new, our new bankroll is going to be 244. Because we're at least going home with what we brought. So we tried being aggressive a couple times. We had some uh, some good rolls and not good rolls, but we made enough to we can still play on a fifteen dollar table. So I'm still gonna do the same startup. So there's reds for a quarter. We're still gonna do twenty dollar pass. We're gonna do the ATS for five five five. And we're going to do a $15 world, and we're all set for the come out world. All right, here we go. This is, looks like this is shooter number four. So we can't, we can no longer be super aggressive, I think, dice out. And there's a come out seven. So we have 20 on the pass line, we're gonna win 20 on the pass line. 15 of it's gonna to go towards the ATS, tap, tap. We're going to bring 10 out of our rack and re redo the world bet. And then we're also going to press the world bet 5. Actually, I apologize. I apologize. We should never have, on a 7, on a come out 7, we should never have lost the world bet. It's a push on the world bet. So we never lose the world bet. So I know that we actually, um, I took away 15 earlier in an earlier shooter. And I shouldn't have taken it away, so I'm putting it back in the rack. I shouldn't have taken it away because it's not a loss. It's a push on a 7. So I'm actually going to uh, increase it to 20. And our pass line win paid for the ATS. And then I would use the extra nickel because we have a $20 pass. And I would use the extra nickel to press up the world bet. So that was my fault. Here we go. And I actually hit the camera. Uh, my toss was off to the right. I actually hit the camera. So we're going to count it anyway. It was a 6-1. So it's another come out 7. And if you can hear the dog going ballistics upstairs, I apologize. All right. So again, it's a push on the world bet. We're going to win 20 on the pass, 15 of it's going to repay the ATS, and we're going to take this extra nickel, and now we're pressing it to a $25 world bet. That's what I love about the world bet. It doesn't lose on a come out seven, or any kind of seven. 
Here we go, dice out. And there's a yo, mid no yo. All right, Chiro. Thank you, sir. That's a come out winner. So we're going to win, we'll start with the pass line. We're going to win 20 on the pass line because it wins on 7 or 11. We're going to mark the 11 this time on the ATS. And we had quarter on the world bet. Five of it goes to the yo, which would be, which this would be $75 win on a $5 bet. So that'd be 80 minus what you have here. So we have an additional, we have 20 left after you take the five out from the yo. So 80 minus 20 is 60. So we win 60 to keep this bet up. And we're going to press it by five again and rack 55. And if we wanted to, we could actually parlay it. Be par well, we could double it because we won 20 on the pass line. So we're actually going to go to 50 on the world bet and see if we can't take advantage of that. And again, it does not lose on a 7. Nice out. And there's a three six nine, so the the parlay, if you will, didn't work. Nine's going to be the point, and that's perfectly fine because we still racked some. So we're going to lose that. We're going to mark the nine. Nine's going to be the point. And we're going to go ahead. And we're going to grab the hard ways for five each. And we're going to do a four dollar horn. And we need to get change for a quarter. Because we need to cap our six and eight. There we go. All right. Here we go. So we have the hard ways, the five, six, eight, the pass line, which let's get some odds back there. We got 30 odds back there. And we got a $4 horn. So we actually have every number covered, except big red. Here we go. And what do you think came? Anybody? Anybody have a guess? Big red. Big red came. That's what came. We PSO'd. All right, so we're losing our profit pretty quickly. Um, we had every number covered and except for the big red, and that was the one that we threw. So that kind of sucks. So we're going to have to dip into our bankroll again because we're now... We're now down in profit. All right, we got 110 left of profit. I'm just going to get reds. on the pass, ATS 555, 15 on the whirl, and we're ready to rock and roll. I dare myself to do better. Dice out. I notice I'm holding the dice too tightly. There's a 3-5 easy 8.
Eight's going to be the point. Lose the whirl. Mark the eight. And we're dipping back into our It's going to cost us 10 big on the 4 and 10. Under on the odds. And where'd the stick go? There we go. All right. Let's try not to PSO. Oh my God, we PSO'd. That was a beautiful toss, too. Beautiful toss. Five, two, seven out. That's back to back PSOs. Well, now we're in a, we're definitely in a rut. But here's what we're going to do. Because, uh, let's see, do we even have it? Let's get a uh, hundred red for a black chip. for the hard ways. Twenty for the pass line. Okay. All right. Everything is paid for. So all of this is going to go to the casino to pay for all the bets. Puck is off. We are reset. We're going to pick up our odds behind the pass line since we can't have them there yet. And here we go. Boy, that was a beautiful toss earlier, too. Here we go. Come out, roll. There's a 6 4 10. All right, 10 is going to be the point. I'm going to bring this down behind the line for odds. So we're 100, 100 on the 4, 5, 9, 120 on the 6, 8. We have hard ways for 5 each. We need to mark the 10. And here we go. out. And we have a 3-5 easy 8. We're going to lose the hard 8. We're going to win 140 on the place 8. We're going to take the place 8 down to 30. Replace our hard eight, and we're going to rack 225. And mark the eight. Dice out. There's a 516 mixer. Gonna lose the hard six.
Going to win 140 on the 6. We're going to take it down to 30. Replace the heart 6. And bring another 225 back to the wreck. Mark the six. Dice out. And we have a hard four. Mark the four, we'll start with the hard way. Gonna win 35 there. Gonna win 200. And I don't think I paid the dig up front on the four. So we're gonna take the four down to 35. Then we're gonna rack 300. And I am going to press the hard ways, a nickel each, since we hit a hard way. Dice out. And we got a 3 1 4 again. 4 came easy. We're going to lose the hard four. We're going to win 70 up top. And we're going to do it, uh, I guess I keep forgetting about the VIG up front. We're going to do the VIG on the win. So we need change for the nickel. So we're going to win 70 for one. I'm going to take the 4 back to 100 and replace the hard 4 for 5. Here we go. Dice out. And there's another hard 4. There's another 4. Three fours back to back. Came hard twice. All right, we're going to win 35 on the hard four. We're going to win 200 for five on the place on the bike bet. Again, we're going to take the four to 35 and rack 300. And I just got a feeling over me and I want to play on my instincts. We have not hit the five and nine. So I'm going to take this 200 and I'm actually going to put it on the four. And I'm going to take both the five and nine. to 35 each because they're not they're not rolling dice out there's a 4-2 easy 6 Lose the heart six. I'm 
going to take the 6 to 60 and bring back the hard 6 for a nickel. out and there's another four three one We're gonna lose the hard four we have 200 on it it's gonna win 400 for ten dollars ten big We're going to rack the black. We're going to move our hard six, hard eight to the hard ten, hard four. And we're going to reduce our odds on the reduce our odds on the ten to fifty and put fifty on the four. Dice out. And there's another four, two, six. We don't have a hard six, but we do have sixty on the on the six. We're gonna take it up to one twenty. And bring back the hard six, hard eight for a nickel each. Dice out. And there's Old Bay Bushel. Hit the point. Couldn't come at a better time. All right, we're going to win 35 on the hard 10. We're going to win 20 on the pass, 100 on the odds. Puck is off. I'm going to mark the 10 with the red chip towards the fire bet. I know we're not playing the fire bet, I just wanted to mark it. All right, we're going to rack the black. We're going to take 20 and press the hard ways, 10 each. We're going to grab the 10 for 35. And we're going to use the rest to press up the 4 to 100. And we are on the come out roll. So I'm just going to do four whites on the horn since we don't have enough to put, pay a uh, to play a world bet. Dice out. There's a four one five. Five will be the point. Lose the horn. Mark the five. We can do four times odds. So we're going to do eighty behind the line. Here we go. Dice 
dice out. There's a 5-3 easy 8. Gonna lose the heart eight. We get 35 up top. Take the eight to 60, bring back the heart eight. Dice out. There's a three, two, five, hit the point. So then we're gonna put the red chip on top of the five to indicate we've hit two points of the fire bet. We're gonna win 20 on the pass. We're gonna win three to two, so we're gonna win 120 on the, on the odds. We're going to press all the hard ways to 15 each. And we are good to go. We'll go ahead and do a $15 world bet. This is the come out roll. We're going to see if we can get any of the numbers to table max. Well, what I mean by that is I just want to see if we can get to purple chip on any of the numbers. Here we go. There's a one, four, five. Five will be the point again. So it doesn't help the fire bet because you'd have to, you'd have to get the point, hit the point again, and then. In order to do the fire bet, you can you gotta do each of the box numbers, each of the six different kinds. Alright, we lose the world bet. And five is the point. I'm just gonna put a blue chip here to indicate that five is the current point. And again, we're gonna take max odds. 80. Here we go. Dice out. And we hit the point. Buckshot. Four one five. Puck comes off. 20 on the pass, 120 on the 80 odds, I'm going to take this blue chip off since we hit the point, I'm going to press the hard ways again, they now look like 20 each, I'm going to do a 20 hour world bet as this is the come out roll. Dice out. There's a 6 4 10. Not a great throw at all. All right, lose the world. So it looks like the tide is changing of the numbers that we're hitting. So um, We're going to do, we'll do three times odds in the back. So we'll do 60 in odds. The four and six have not been hitting right now. 
So I'm actually going to take down the blacks. I'm going to replace with 35.5. And we'll do 60 on the 6. And wrap the two blacks. Here we go. Dice out. And that was a little aggressive with the throw, but it's going to be an ace deuce. Three craps. Mark the three. Put it in the tracker. And we're going to take this $10 and do a horn high. We'll do a horn high midnight. Dice out. There's a mixer, 5 1. Gonna lose the hard six. Gonna win 70. Gonna take the six up to 120. We'll do full press from here on out. We'll lose the horn bet and bring the hard six back up to 10. Dice out. And there's the seven, five, two. It ends this last rally. And that's going to end this session. It's okay. Uh, it was a good session, I think. I think we're going to find out we made money. So uh, let's reset the ATS. We almost hit the small, just needed aces. All right, ATS looks pretty again. Let's see what we had out here. I bet you that's 100 there. It was 110. All right, we had 440 out on the layout. Did we make any money on our $1,500 bankroll? All right, let's turn the puck off. And let's see what we got. We'll do it down here. So 1500 was our bankroll. Here's our profit. Our profit was $700. We made 700 profit on our $1,500 bankroll. We tried to be aggressive up front. We then lost our profit. We gained back our bankroll and had like 200 some profit, but then we lost that and we had to go dipping into 500 of our 1500 bankroll again. And we started playing aggressively on numbers that were hitting. Um, sometimes that's the best play. The best play is to, is to be aggressive on the numbers that are hitting. 
um, and then do a regression after a certain point so that you can bring some money back because I think we started building this 700 profit over time but thanks for joining me I really appreciate it this was fun uh, 1500 hour uh, <clears throat> bankroll $15 minimum table uh, we did some aggressive betting some aggression some regression uh, we played the world bet we hit our hard ways pretty good um, I think we hit the hard eight for 15 or no hard eight for 30 30 dollars on the hard eight we made 270 on that that was awesome that was fun um, and then we kept hitting those fours and sixes uh, towards the end so thanks for joining me let's look at the roll tracker real quick it says we hit the sharpshooter which pays six to one um, our SRR was 5.8 and our SOR was 8.7. Um, not bad. Uh, that's right around how my numbers have been on this underhand toss recently um, and some of the sessions in Bone Tracker. So they've been right around what it's actually saying. So that's kind of nice that it kind of mirrors what, it, what is actually happening, happening in Bone Tracker. Um, yeah, the six was hot and during my recent AC trip, the six was hot during that roll I had. Uh, there was a guy that actually, he was playing with black chips and green chips and he put, he eventually was up to 1200 on his six and I hit the six. So he won 1400 on his $1,200 six. That was pretty awesome to watch and see. Um, it, it was good crowd energy too. That's important as well. All right, thanks for joining me when you're at your tables. Season your play. See ya.